If you clicked on this video hoping to find out how long the SoShine 10440, this uh, 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate cell will last in the OLED i3T on its low setting, then you're watching the right video. Um, in the past, we've tested this Demon Fire 3.7 volt lithium ion cell, as well as a 3.7 volt um, lithium ion cell from PK cell as well. Um, same voltage. Um, yeah, so today I just kind of wanted to do a side by side with these different batteries. This is the SoShine cell, kind of the newest to me to test. This is a 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate um, battery chemistry cell. And um, yeah, in a previous in a previous video we did uh, we tested the run times of these cells on their high setting. So uh, this is going to be the low setting runtime test. Um, yeah, and then we've got this AAA, uh, just 1.5 volt standard alkaline battery in the pink i3T here. And basically, uh, I cut the runtime short <laughs> because I checked as the test was going to see what the runtime uh, was supposed to be in the manual from Olight, and it's 16 hours. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have time to make a 16 hour time lapse. So I cut the, the runtime short, but at least um, just think of this being here as a just, just take a look at the output. It's kind of just there as a as a representation of the boost and performance you get from these two. Um, so yeah, I guess that's why this is here, I suppose, retroactively. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're going to see if this SoShine cell can beat the 3.7 volt uh, 10440s in runtime, and if so, by how much. All right, going to check out the output on a few different batteries in the OLED i3T. Uh, first one we're going to look at is just this uh, pink i3T that's got the standard 1.5 volt alkaline battery in it. So this is that 5 lumens according to Olight uh, right here. Uh, so this is a low setting using a 3.7 volt uh, lithium ion rechargeable cell in this brass i3T. So significantly brighter as you can tell. And let's check out the 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate uh, SoShine battery in this brown OLED i3T right here. Low setting, still pretty good output. I'd say not as good as the 3.7 volt lithium ion cell output wise, but definitely a step above that um, five lumen low on the alkaline battery. So it's a little side by side. So this is the SoShine cell right here. We're going to put it next to the alkaline battery. So there's alkaline, SoShine, alkaline, and Demon Fire 3.7 volt lithium ion, night and day. Wow. So yeah, five lumens low with the Demon Fire. And let's do the side by side with the um, lithium ion cell here on the left, the brass i3T, and then the 3.2 volt SoShine um, lithium iron phosphate cell on the right. So here first is the 3.7 volt lithium ion, 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate. So yeah, clear winner output wise, it's lithium ion cell. So let's check out the runtime. All right, so let's unpack what we saw a uh, three hours, uh, just about exactly from the lithium ion battery, the team fire cell, um, very similar to what you get from a PK cell 10440 as well, um, by the way. And if you're interested in seeing the low mode um, runtime test between the demon fire and the PK cell, um, I'll link that video at the end of this one. But yeah, uh, three hours from 
lithium ion cells and considering the incredible output you get with this battery that's pretty good in my opinion um, but nowhere close to the 16 hours that you get from an alkaline battery um, per Olite. I did not run this test for 16 hours. I just didn't have the time for that, but I'm taking Olite's word for it. Um, you know, give or take 16 hours. <clears throat> In any case, even if it's not 16 hours, even if it's 14 or whatever, it's still significantly longer than what you get with these lithium type batteries here. And yeah, the newcomer, the Sochan cell, uh, did pretty well. Gave us four hours, a um, little over four hours of runtime with a nice bit of output as well. So not quite the output of the lithium ion cell as we saw, but um, basically that's all, that's how I'm going to end the video. I mean, it's like there's pros and cons with um, all these batteries, right? So same exact light, but depending on your needs and what you look for, what you prioritize, you do have a lot of different options when it comes to the power source uh, for these lights. And that's kind of a cool thing and what makes the i3T pretty special in my opinion. You can get longer runtime using alkaline batteries if that's something you're looking for. Or a crazy output at the upper end here with the lithium ion cells. Or if you want something in between but leaning closer to the output of the 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries, you've got the SoShine 3.2 volt lithium ion phosphate cell and others like it. So yeah, I hope this video was informative. I uh, hope it helped uh, as well. I uh, have a term paper coming up in the coming week. So I'll get back into making videos, but until I finish that, I'm gonna have to put uh, YouTube on hold. Uh, I'm sure you can understand, but yeah, I'll come back. And when we do, I'm looking forward to doing the same sort of thing, except with um, the i5T series. I'm gonna have a few different i5Ts at that point, and uh, we'll try different cells and do run times on high and low as well with those. So if that's something you're interested in, look forward to that. And I still need to do the review on that um, LT1S, Lantern from Sofern as well. Looking forward to doing that video too. So that is to come and among other things. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and, and hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.